the field of science now that I like the most is astronomy. I think it's it's sort of that human nature of being curious to explore something that's so big and mysterious. When I did a research internship at the Laboratory of Space Research at the University of Hong Kong. With the experiences I've gained and the skills I've gained for that data analysis and research for astronomy there, I was lucky enough to have been able to be published actually as a co-author on this peer-reviewed scientific journal called Astronomy and Natural Physics. Recently, the Sichuan Science Fair, where I got to go to Chengdu and share my project with the public over there. I think one of the biggest and most important thing when doing research is being able to put into application with what is learned inside the classroom. And it it's also matches with the values that IB and our school always reminds us to be a thinker and an inquirer in our school and by our teachers that keeps on motivating me and makes me more interested in doing more science. I just had this idea of what if we just put my friends and all the people I know that plays music in other schools together so we can form a bigger orchestra. We have over 30-something people from seven, eight different international schools, bilingual schools and public schools. We rehearse here at SIS every weekend. For us being in present and making music together, that moment is not only for the sake of making music and prepare for the public, but it's also that process when we meet people, meeting each other and create bonds and make friends through music. Combining music and fundraising, this idea, I was pretty much inspired during a Week Without Walls that happened last year in November. When we got to visit this orphanage in Vietnam, it was, it was actually a very sort of shocking and touching moment for me. As, as a person, as a global citizen, that we should help people not as privileged as us. And of course, I was starting to run the orchestra at the time already, and I was thinking of if there's any way that we can help these kids. Very commonly in, in the classical music world, we do fundraiser concerts to help people. And this is how everything started. And in January and February, we had concerts uh, to fundraise, to donate for the orphanage I was mentioning that we went to in Week Without Wolves. And very, very soon, we will also have another concert. But recently, we just got a total amount of 2,000 US dollars grant from Acumis. This grant will really help Saiwayo as an organization to develop, provide more concerts and also public engagement. So I am involved in quite a lot of different activities and clubs in SIS. I do MUN, I do, I run a math club, a science club, music, Stuco. I also run the Nobel Prize Laureate Science Club where we meet every week with some lower grade students and we do. We have so many different people passionate about different things. If you really want, you can actually make yourself busy and do things that you really like. One, to actually continue and pursue astronomy and university. Very likely my career plan is sort of just go on and study more astronomy in graduate school and maybe graduate with a PhD and become a researcher. I think also throughout this path, um, I wouldn't give up my music for sure. I'll continue to play more music because it's something that I really enjoy. Mm -hmm.